Hello, this is the second part of the crooked man. We're gonna continue where we left, in the hospital, right here. Yeah, is that the guy from Mega Man? Hello, baby. Did you see your mom? Yeah, so because she still doesn't know. Yes, she forgot many things, and she's having trouble controlling her emotions. I ask you to be patient. She may well get better, so you can live with her again. Thanks. I hope you can help her. Help her. Back in the apartments. Oh yeah. Nope. I don't live here. Let me. Of course. Of course, there's, there's a reason you just heard a noise. Is it the crack? Is it the crack? No, I think I heard a chair, so it could be this chair. Did I move? Did I move that chair? Hmm, there's something in the drawer. The belief left for a school. Looks pretty old. Mm, this LMM or courses are cycling. Was somebody shooting to be a lawyer? I guess this must, this must be the former tenants. He sure forgot a bunch of stuff. Maybe no furniture is better after all, huh? Hey David, how are you doing? Haha, <laughs> you saw me just yesterday. I'm doing fine, thanks. Good, good. Call if you're ever lonely, okay? If you know what I mean. Wink, wink. By the way, I got a call from Shirley yesterday. We didn't really talk, but... Sorry, I told her your number. She said she was so worried about you. It's okay. Tell her I don't need her worry. She should just, she should just look out for herself. All right. Well, I'll hang up now. All right. See you. I'm not... God. What? This is creepy. Did it say sink? What was that? And I'm scared. <laughs> that you can see me, but I, I really just... My body is shivering. Shivering, shivering. yeah. Sink. Wash my sink. Oh, yeah. The I saw this many times. Hmm. There's a scrap of paper under here. Got a scrap of paper. There was a crude man. And he walked a crude mile. He found a crook sixpence against a crook style. He bought a crooked cat, which caught a crooked mouse. And they all lived together in a little crooked house. I like this one. Isn't this a mother goose rhyme? Yeah, I know it was something, a rhyme. I didn't know the name though. Why is this here under the sink? Because the previous tenant. Yet the tenant leaves so many things. You're so curious now. This is so strange. I should just leave and forget about it. <laughs> yeah, just forget about it. Um. Yeah. Moving for a change of peace, huh? I guess that's not working so well. I appreciate Paul and Marion's help, but... I'm badass, so I sleep. Don't 
Expressing the curiosity, curiosity killed the cat. Oh, you're about to get killed. Of course, there's no kid here. He must be getting tired. Huh? My house. Someone broke in. Gotta save. Yeah. Okay. Um, an old computer. Maybe it was the mirror. <laughs> it's never this. Why do I keep coming here? No, my favorite cup. Just a broken cup. Yes, that startled me. Wait, what? Help me. Help me. The coffee says, you gotta be. This room is really, really strange. With its voices and TV is turning on. What's this? What is this? Fuck, I'm scared. I'm really am. And again, the phone. Oh, hi, Dave. Hi, Paul. It's David. Yeah, what's up? Man, you sound sleepy. Ha ha. Ha ha. Yeah, what's up? All last night. I gotta ask you something. Is now okay? Yeah, what? Do you know who used to live in this room? No, I don't know. You asked the landlady? You curious about something? Well, seems like he forgot a lot of stuff. But I'll ask the landlady. Sure, later. Sorry, if you can read, I'm gonna make them a little more longer. Yeah, so you can read. The landlady on the far end of the first floor. I'll go see what she knows. Because I want to know more. I just moved into a house and I am so curious. I even bought our neighbors at night. I so I am so popular right now. Talk talk. Hello. Oh, it's Mrs. David. What seems to be the matter? Good day, miss. I just wanted to ask something. You see? About the room, I mean. Can you tell me anything about the person who used to live there? Question. Mm, triple dot, well, coma. You know, coma. These apartments always have people coming and going. Triple dot. Now, what was that boy's name? I believe he was a man about your age. He suddenly left about a month ago. Said to leave the furniture and use it, however. You wouldn't know where he went. I never heard that. No, really, just up and left out of the blue. Uh, I just can't remember that name. I called Ron and she took my documents to find the previous tenant if she liked. No, no, there's no need. I was just a little curious. Curious. Thanks. I'll see you around. Alrighty. Sorry, I wasn't very useful. I'm, I'm an old lady. Have patience. A man about my age. I can only wonder. Oh well, I'll get back to my room. Na, 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 na. This is so rude, I just cleaned the floor. It's the fifth fucking time this day. Literally. Uh, you know what? I'm, I'm going back to that lady and I'm going to complain. Complain. And it goes all through the crack wall. Of course, there has to be a ghost in here. Why are these crack tracks on the floor? They lead up to this wall. Is there something in this crack? Don't. Oh, well, he did. Got a brass key. This key is pretty fancy. I doubt it's for anything in here. So I wonder where. I don't have a cup now. The guy's voice. The kid's voices. The mirrors writing. The TV turning on. The coffee. My favorite coffee cup. Ha. It's like a poltergeist or something. A ghost. 
but I will have to, the landlady will mention this kind of thing. What's going on here? Not that I'd care if there were ghosts here. I wouldn't much care if they hunted me and killed me either. That's not a good thing to say, David. I mean, you're a badass and all, but... No, just no. But I wonder about the scrap of paper. What was the man who lived here late? Did this stuff happen when he was here? Not much use. Not much use thinking about it. I'll call it a day. Okay, I'm gonna sleep. Button. Can't sleep. One ship, two ships, three. Oh, he, he closed his eyes. Not again. What? Why? Where's that coming from? Is it from inside the house? <laughs> That's creepy. Is, it, is the TV again? An old TV. Oh, it's a computer. It wasn't a computer. It's a bathtub. The washing machine. It's the crack in the wall. I don't know, it's the cupboards. The sink. Stove. Nothing doing the sound. The empty trash can. In the room. Don't wanna find about it. Just gonna sleep. 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 You can't sleep. I really don't find anything. Where is it coming from? Sleep. No. Ah, it came from here. Radio. What? Why is this in my closet? Not to mention turning on it by itself. Hmm, there's something on this paper here. It's an, an address. Or a special place. Where's that supposed to be? Got a paper with an address. And a badass accent. Oh, so the sound stop now. <laughs> That scared me right now so bad. I'm, I'm waiting for you. Why did... How? When did it... Oh. It fucking scared me. I feel like I didn't need an L, so... Okay, just some more, more text and I'm gonna end. So, did you sleep well last night? Sorry you had to sleep on the couch? Nah, I shall be sorry for coming over so late. Huh? Wasn't expecting it, but don't sweat it. But hey, did something happen? You don't look too hot. He is hot. He's badass. He's blonde with blue eyes. Oh, there's no particular reason. Or maybe I felt like intruding into the newlyweds love nest. If you know what I mean. Wink wink. Hey, why you... Haha, <laughs> just kidding. Seriously though. You can tell me if anything happens, okay? I'll do whatever I can do for you. Mix it the boys. Alright, hey. I'm glad to have a buddy who looks out for his friends. Hey, you making fun of me? Oh yeah, I heard from Marion. Sorry about the Shirley thing. I told her off for that. Don't worry about it. It's not Marion's fault. Well, it's not about whose fault it is. I'm just not happy about it. Don't let it get you down, alright? I know you got your mother to look after. 
but I think it's time you move on and look for new people. As for a guy like me, could find a date. I'm just some clerk with a mom at the hospital, and the girl I wanted to marry ran from me. Man, don't be such a sissy. <laughs> sissy. You give up that mopping, and you'll have your own personal rain cloud. Huh, well, I'll be careful. Oh, so I'm going to go on a little trip. Don't want to waste my vacation, you know. Oh, great idea. Where are you going? Just somewhere I was wondering about. I'll call you when I get there. Sweet. Send a postcard. <laughs> Breakfast ready. Paul. David, will you be eating too? No, I'm not hungry. I'll be going. Ah, that's too bad. Come by anytime you like. Back in the crypt house. There, looks like this address is in the mountains. About a five hour drive. Oh, that's a long way to the mountains. Did the foreman then and go here? I just wasn't to ask him about the room. Maybe he'll know something. Hell, I'll go right now. I can stand in this place anyway. Nailed it. Gonna end it right now, right here, in this precise moment. See ya.